Hello my butterfly babies and welcome to my channel. This channel is designed to help you break out of your cocoon and to rise and fly. So today's pick a card reading is angel messages for you. So we want to find out what important messages from the angels, what they, what messages they have for you and what they are. But before I start the reading, I just want to first of all, thank you all for being part of the Butterfly Babies family and welcome is open to all. Um, so welcome anyone who is joining us, who is new here and all of the ones that have been with me since the start. So um, I also wanted to mention that I'm going to be doing some live, um, I'm going to be planning some live sessions. Um, if that is something that you're interested in, please leave me a message in the comment section just to say whether that is something you would be interested in. So I'm um, thinking of like live sessions, live readings uh, coming up in the future. And of course, we will continue the pick a card readings and the candle wax readings. Okay, so let's get started with today's reading. Again, it's angel messages for you. So let's see. We have three piles, and to help you pick your pile, I'm going to reach into this um, charm box and pick one charm for each pile. Pile number one, pile number one, pile number one. You have an anchor, a gold anchor. Okay, pile number two, pile number two, pile number two. You have this gold key. Okay. And let's see, pile number three, pile number three, pile number three. You have a gold leaf. Okay, wow. So these are your three piles. The first card is uh, Seventh Chakra Archangel Uriel with the number 41 and the little gold anchor charm and this little seashell with the pink on it, with some pink on the top. Pile number two is the first chakra, Archangel Michael, the number 35, and this gold key, and this white seashell, okay? And pile number three is the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron, the number 40, and this gold leaf charm, okay? So please pick your pile, and I will see you at your reading. Okay, we're going to start today's reading. And find out what the angels have to tell pile number one first and see what's going on. Pile number one, if you selected this card, seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, the number 41, and this little gold anchor charm, this is your reading. So right off the bat, this is Uriel is the archangel of the crown chakra. So Uriel can, can give you access to higher powers, source, spirit, spirit guides, angels, and anything um, on the other side, higher powers. Okay, so I'm hearing that Uriel is, is here to give you extra guidance at this time. And with the number 41, which also, if you add it, it equals five, I'm hearing that you're going to be experiencing something very um, unique that you haven't experienced before and it's funny because I have this these shells this one has pink on it which is if you can see the little pink coloring on it and then um, with the anchor I'm hearing I'm hearing um you know sailing I'm hearing uh, water but I'm hearing that you're going to be navigating into new waters okay there you're going to be navigating into a like a big new life change is what I'm hearing so let's see what else, what messages, angels, please speak and tell pile number one, what messages you have for them at this time. Angels, please speak, please speak and tell us messages for pile number one. Please speak and tell us. Hey, please speak, please speak. Oops, <laughs> this card wanted to come out. It says sensuality. Look at that. So Basically, I'm hearing at this time, you're going to to have a connection, like a, a very like strong connection to higher powers, but also to your to your earthly like uh, material desires. OK, and with this being sensuality, I'm, I'm feeling like you're feel, starting to feel very comfortable with your body. You're feeling comfortable. You're starting to have more confidence 
with these two fans, it's like, look at the, look at the expression on the, on the figure's face. It's like, I know who I am. I know I'm beautiful. I know I'm strong and I know I'm powerful. And I feel like you're coming into that. And that's another characteristic of the crown chakra to give you that self-confidence and to embrace, you know, no matter what body style, shape, whatever, you are still embracing the beauty of, of yourself, of your body. You're appreciating how strong your body is and the fact that, you know, your body, when you really think about what your body does for you on a daily basis, all the intricate systems, you you know, it really does make you grateful, you know, for, for your body, no matter what it looks like. Okay. And then you start to see just how strong and beautiful you really are inside and out. Okay. So let's see what else, what other messages. So, so again, the angels are telling me it's time to, to not be down on yourself and to be, it's time to, to embrace yourself and let any self criticism go. Okay. Start embracing and loving and appreciating yourself. Okay. So what other messages, Angels, please tell Pile 1 what they need to know for income, career, money, finance, abundance, wealth, cash. What do they need to know in the area of career, money, income, finance, abundance? Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot. We're going to take, take this top card. That, one's was, that one was jumping out the most. The artist. I create my vision. Yes. So I'm also hearing that you're going to embrace beauty. Like I said, you're going to embrace your own beauty, but you're also going to start creating beauty around you. I'm hearing like, you know, you're going to make your living space nice, you know, nicer or more comfortable, you know, a new comforter, a new rug, a new, you know, different colors on your walls. Um, you're embracing your, your own artistic vision. And the, and the angels are telling you right now that this is a good time for you to express any creativity you have. And they're, they're telling me that your creativity is going to, to enhance your own comfort in your own life, but it's also going to inspire other people. That is so cool. Okay, so let's see what other angel messages. Angels, please speak and tell pile number one what they need to know right now. They speak. Oh my gosh. Infinite abundance. Yes. You are fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. Right. So you are, you are receiving information from your angels, letting you know that infinite abundance is on the way to you and can be accessed by you. And I feel like the more you're embracing yourself and learning to love yourself, it's opening your, your channels to higher powers. And that is why you're going to have this big change. Like I said, you're, you're charting into new territories. And when you chart out into these new territories, you're going to experience infinite abundance, an abundance you've never experienced before. I mean, it's like, you see, this is like the cornucopia. If you look up close, there's like, this is just overflowing abundance. And sorry, it looks kind of blurry. There we go. Overflowing infinite abundance. And so whatever you're doing for your vision, for your life purpose, your this creative endeavor that you're doing, it says that you're fully supported by the universe. And they are you are headed, you're sailing towards infinite abundance. Wow, that is so cool, pile number one. So let's see in love. What do your angels have to tell you about love at this time? Please, angels, speak and tell pal number one what they need to know in the area of love right now. These cards are so weird today. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at that. One, oh my gosh, 1111 is an important number for twin flames. It symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts. Wow, 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 wow. So this, they're telling you in love, that the, the one is either here or coming soon. And that the one that you're going to recognize immediately is the twin flame. I'm also hearing that even beyond love, every time you see the number 1111 on the clock, the angels want you to make a wish so that they can help you manifest it faster. So anytime you see it on your phone, on the clock or wherever, just, just make, you know, take a second and make your, your wish the wish that you want to manifest, whether it's in love or with career, money, finance, or your creative project. And 
you will know that your angels are supporting you and helping manifest that special wish, dream, or goal. That is so cool. 1111. Okay, so let's see what else. And you might want to, if you're not for, that familiar with 1111, please um, Google angel numbers and 1111 and you'll get, you'll see just how magical and special that number is. Okay, so let's see what else. It's manifestation number. So, oh wow, look at this. My goodness, abundance again. Abundance planning, number one. It even has the number one here. So this is letting me know that that your angels are telling you that because you have this infinite abundance coming in, that they're helping you to manifest, you are going to have more money than, you have, than you've ever had before. And again, that's why you're charting and <laughs> moving this, this little, that's why you're charting into new territory. Again, this isn't a level of abundance that you've never experienced before. Okay. So that's why they're letting you know in advance that you're going to have to start planning on exactly how you're going to, um, you know, save and or spend this abundance. Because sometimes when people get a huge amount of money um, suddenly, or they, they've suddenly become rich when they haven't been rich, you know, and they've just been getting by their whole life and then they get this huge amount of money. Um, sometimes you, you can spend it too quickly and, and kind of blow through it. So this is giving you a heads up that with this huge amount of money and abundance that's coming in, because it's something you've never experienced before, you want to get that heads up to start planning it so that you don't go and like blow it all quickly and so that you it can last. You have it to last throughout your life and to to use it even for generations, you know, if you plan right. So let's see what else. What other angel messages for pile number one? We're going to shuffle the wisdom inspiration advice cards and take three. So let's do one, two, three. Oops, and there's your okay. So first it says go with the flow. Yes, you want to go with the flow of the universe. You you've got the, the anchor with the water, so you're just gonna go with the flow, follow the directions from your angels and from spirit guide source and spirit and your ancestors, and just follow the direction because they're leading you towards infinite abundance at this time. Okay, let's see what else. Breathe. Yes, yes. So again, embracing that that sensuality, relaxing and embracing who you are, like not, not being stressed, feeling very comfortable, grounded and confident. And you can do that also with breathing exercises. So I'm going to link a breathing exercise in the description box that you can do to enhance the power of breathing. <gasps> and last but not least, you are manifesting a miracle pile number one. Yes. And that miracle, that 1111 miracle, this doesn't want to come off the table. <laughs> you got to have some humor, right? But this 1111 miracle, this infinite abundance that you are experiencing, it's, it's you are manifesting a miracle with your angels. Oops, this poor card. So, wow, pile number one, you've got some really big, exciting things to look forward to. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye, my butterfly babies. Okay, let's see what else. Let's see what messages pile number two has coming their way. Okay. Pile number two, if you selected this card, the first chakra, Archangel Michael, the number 35 with this gold key and the white shell, seashell, this is your reading. Okay, so... Let me put this picture back. Okay, so first of all, right away, Archangel Michael is very, very close to you. I mean, he sticks by your side, like, you know, constantly. And he's there to protect you. He's got the sword. He's protecting you from enemies. He's protecting you from evil. But also, he is assisting you and giving you this key to unlock your own powers and to unlock these future gifts that are coming, these future blessings that are coming. And with the number 35, which equals eight, I'm hearing that there's money involved. There's, it has to do also with um, income, money, and finances. Okay, so let's see what else your angels want to tell you. Yeah, with that key, that's really powerful. It's like Michael is handing you, Archangel Michael is handing you the key. 
to help you succeed. But let's see what else. Pile number two. What angels, please speak and tell us what messages you have for pile number two. Angels, please speak. Thank you. Labyrinth. Look at this. So this is really cool. So I, this goes back to the key again. So Michael, Archangel Michael, because if any of you have ever been to a labyrinth, like they have some of them out places, usually out in the country where you can go. And it's like a maze, as you can see. It's like a maze where you have to go the right way or else you're going to end up at a dead end. Okay. But Michael, the Mike, Archangel Michael and your other angels are telling you that you have now been given the key. So now whichever way you go, you're going to be led the right way to that goal, to that, to that successful path that you're looking for, to that new beginning. Okay. So it doesn't matter like what you've, you've might've, I'm hearing you've had frustrations and dead ends in the past, but now you're being handed this key. So the direction that you go is the direction that will lead you directly to your successful goal that you're, that you're manifesting, that you're, that you want to achieve at this time. Okay. Let's see what else. Angels, please speak to Puffer Pile number two. Please speak and tell us in income, money, career, finance, abundance. What do they need to know? Please speak and tell them what they need to know from you. Angels, please speak to Pile number two. Income, money, career, finance, abundance. Wow, the sage. It says the truth will set me free. Right. And just like with the key... I'm also hearing, because a labyrinth, remember, if you get stuck in the labyrinth, you're just going to go round and round in circles. You're going to feel trapped. You're going to feel restricted. So I'm hearing that the truth, your, this key is giving you, again, the power to unlock yourself out of the labyrinth, out of any restrictions, out of any emotional, physical, or mental cages, or even spiritual cages that you've been in, to unlock that to give you that power, to give you that, see the red, the root chakra, to strengthen your root chakra, just like with Michael, because he represents the root chakra. So your root chakra is being strengthened and you are being given the key of truth, the key of freedom and the key to success. So you, whatever restrictions, like I said, whatever negativity, whatever burdens you were feeling were holding you back in the past are not going to be an issue anymore. The angels are telling you that they've given you the power and the freedom through the key to go straight towards the goal and to avoid any traps or restrictions that you've been experiencing. Okay, so let's see what else. Pile number two, angels, please speak to, to, for pile number two. And please tell pile number two what other messages you have for them. Please speak and tell us pile number two. Okay, you have three cards. Okay, but we're going to take them all. Okay, let's look at the first one. It says, let go. Walk away from this situation in order to resolve it. Yeah, and that goes back to the labyrinth. You're walking away from any troubles. You're getting out of that, that stuck energy. You're walking away from anything that has held you back. And you're walking towards freedom and to your success and destiny and your goals. Spiritual teacher. Yes. You, it says you heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. Okay. Yeah. So you have the gift. You have spiritual gifts, spiritual blessings, uh, and spiritual talents that you're going to be using to help others. So it's almost like now that you're unlocking yourself from, from whatever you were going through and whatever limitations we're holding you back, you're going to be able to teach other people how to unlock themselves from whatever is holding them back as well. Okay. Wow. That is amazing. Pile number two. <laughs> that is, that is awesome. And let's see, last but not least school. It says the answer that you're seeking, seeking involves going to school. Okay. So I'm hearing that with you having the spiritual teacher, you may be seeking, um, help from other spiritual mentor, mentors and teachers to enhance your own spiritual powers. And I'm hearing that once you do that, you're going to, again, be teaching others, okay? But you're also going to be like collaborating and networking with other spiritual teachers and leaders and, and people with spiritual gifts to help you enhance your own gifts, okay? So, and they're going to also help 
you know, give you, you know, things that they know they're going to teach you and it's going to enhance those natural uh, gifts that you already have, that you have within you, that you haven't necessarily used lately, or, or maybe some of you have never used them, but they're there. And this is a sign that it's time for you to branch out and to explore and to strengthen your spiritual powers because you're, you're able to teach others and lead others. Okay. So let's see what else. What does pile number two angels, please speak to pile number two. Let them know what they need to know in regards to self-care to help them at this time, to help, help them move forward successfully on their journey. Please speak. Oh, wow. They're speaking loudly. <laughs> they want to be heard. <laughs> okay. So you've got two cards. You've got movement. Okay. Yeah. So I'm hearing you want to unlock your body, unlock your, um, to shake off any stagnation in your chakras and to get your energy flowing. Do you see all the energy of the, the aura, the aura, the energy of the aura is unlocked and, and flowing and it's high frequency. So you want to unleash and unlock your high frequency vibration also. And, and again, when you, it's part of your, you getting out of any restrictions. You also want to get out of physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual restrictions. And last, let's see, last, it says sweet treat. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I know I have a sweet tooth. So like, <laughs> this is definitely something that I can relate to. So it's just letting you know that you, you know, even if you've been, say you've been dieting or say you've been trying to, you know, eat really healthy, it's saying that you, it's, you still want to indulge in something so you don't feel like you're depriving yourself. So even if it's fruit, fresh fruit with, you know, honey drizzled on it or a little piece of candy or even some cupcakes, just like the figure, just, it doesn't have to be that you go and gorge on, you know, one whole, it could, whatever you want, but it's just, you need to treat yourself. Even like I said, even if you're trying, because, because even if you're super healthy, there's ways to make healthy treats. Like with, there's the apple, um, and it's just letting you know, it's time for you to enjoy a sweet treat at this time. Life is all about having sweetness in it. And sometimes you just need your cupcake or your <laughs> strawberries or, you know, a piece of chocolate. Okay. So as long as you're not allergic, of course, but let's see what else pile number two, your angels want you. I'm also hearing your angels just like they, they see you as so sweet. Like they, like there's times that you're eating sweet things and enjoying life. And they're like smiling with you because they're, they're like, good, you know, they're, they're happy. They're like, pile number two finally took a little break and, and is enjoying themselves. So they're happy when you're happy. So let's see what else. Wisdom, inspiration, advice cards. I'm going to shuffle and take three. Let's do one, two, and three. So let's see. We have your persistence will pay off. Yeah. So again, even if you've been going through in the past all that frustration and setbacks and obstacles, you just keep going. You have the key now to get through those restrictions and to get through the labyrinth. And so don't just don't give up, just keep going. Cause now you're going to see the fruits of your labor. You were born to win. Yes. You were born to win. And Archangel Michael is right there every step of the way with you, along with your other angels and they're helping and guiding you. And last but not least have an attitude of gratitude, right? Because once you unlock all of this, you know, this new life, this new beginning, the prosperity, the joy, the peace, you're just going to want to say, wow, I'm so glad I don't have to deal with all those restrictions. I'm feeling like I was in some kind of mental, emotional or physical prison and now I'm free. And you just want to sit back, enjoy that sweet treat and just take a moment to, to see how far you've come and to enjoy it. Okay. And to be thankful because your angels are there every step of the way. Pile number two, this has been your reading. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye, my butterfly babies. Okay, so let's move on to pile number three and see what messages their angels have for them. Okay. Okay. Pile number three, if you selected this card, sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron, and the number 40 with this leaf, 
I am hearing the first thing I'm hearing right off the bat. This well, this is your reading first of all, but the first thing I'm hearing is that Metatron is helping you. Like a miracle is is coming for you. Something unexpected is coming. Okay, and Metatron is helping you cleanse, cleanse and prepare for this for this big new change, this big miracle that's coming. Like um, here with this leaf, I'm hearing the phrase "turning over a new leaf." So I'm hearing that you are you something. You're changing your actions. You're changing some habits, and Archangel uh, Metatron is helping you change like some bad habits or bad. Um, Bad things that, you know, like negative things, I won't say bad, but meaning negative things that that have um, that have been an issue for you. Metatron is helping remove those and help helping you move towards a manifestation of something really, really big and exciting for you. OK, Metatron has often been called the um, the Archangel of Miracles. So I'm hearing that he's going to help you with something that is just going to blow your mind and just be unbelievable. So let's see what else. Pile number three. Angels, please speak and tell pile number three what they need to know right now. Wow. Okay. Action. Look at that. Wow. Okay. So yeah, Archangel Metatron is moving you and your other angels are moving you towards action. Okay. They're, they're, they're behind you. I'm, I'm seeing like these trees in the background are representing your angels, your unseen angels. And they're pushing you saying, don't worry, you know, get out. Look, look at that. There's no fear. There's no insecurities. There's no doubt. It's like you're, you're moving forward. You're taking action. You're aiming at your goal and you will pull that bow back and, and reach that goal. Okay. And you have that supernatural support to help you get there. Okay, so let's see what else. And with the sixth chakra, the third eye chakra, I'm hearing that you're getting like a lot of psychic downloads from Metatron and from your other angels and from higher power source spirit and um and your ancestors even. And that is helping you take action and be to be brought brave and strong. Okay, wow. Whoa. What was I doing? Oh my gosh. Jeez. This is unbelievable. Look at this. The honorable warrior. It's the same thing. Look, there's the figure again with the white horse. And now in this case, the figure has this lightning bolt and this huge heart. So it says, I take a stand for positive change. So yeah. So this is telling you that there's no time for fear. This is the time for action. This is the time to be bold, to be brave to have courage on this new path with this new leaf because Metatron is there pushing you and helping you move past the, um, anything from the past is, is broken off of you. Okay. And now you're able to take action. You're able to move forward. You have, and this is somewhat, um, pile number one had, um, actually, I'm sorry, pile number two had a similar, a little bit of a similar message in that leaving the past behind leaving any negativity behind and being able to be free now to move towards those positive, wonderful things that are coming in your life. So if that's something you want to do, you can always also check out pile number two. But again, this is just showing you just how much power and this lightning bolt is your power for Metatron. Okay. And he's letting you know that, Hey, you are holding that power, that supernatural spiritual power. So there's nothing to fear. And that's why you're able to just forge straight ahead and take action. Okay, so let's see in love. What does pile number three need to know in love? Wow, this Metatron is just coming through like strong, like with no hesitation. And that's like that action energy that like just boom, 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 you know, like, okay, so respect. It says respect your relationships. Yeah. So this is letting you know again, because even the honorable warrior, it says honorable. So you want to do everything with honor and res respect, you know, and, and you'll feel that that's coming back to you as well. It says respect. your. So anyone that you've kind of been taking for granted that, you know, is a positive support system in your life, your angels are telling you that you want to make sure that you're appreciating them and letting them know that you care and respect them and that you're not taking them for granted. Okay. Because that's going to bring your um, positive energy and your vibration even higher as well. And that helps you unlock this power that, that you're 
that you have access to right now that the that the angels in metatron are giving you right now so let's see what else what for self-care angels please speak and tell pile number three what they need to know with self-care oh my gosh pleasure <laughs> so this is just a reminder to to do something and this again this is a similar message to pile number two because they had something where there was you know a sweet to have a sweet treat and in this case you know obviously you can see what the figure is doing but but either way whatever you find pleasurable you want to make time for that okay because that is going to help you you know keep that positive high frequency energy going and um, unlock you know unlock any tension and just help you um, stay on the positive light. Stay in the light. Okay, so let's see what else. Final messages for pile number three. Angels, please speak. We're going to shuffle and take three. Angels, speak to pile number three. What do they need to know? Final messages. We'll do one, two, three. Let's see. I'm having a problem with this table today. For some reason, everything's sticking. Keep moving forward. Yes. So again, look at this. Look at that forward motion, action. Oops, there's the word action. So you just want to keep moving forward. You're moving towards your destiny. You're moving towards your goal. Just keep moving forward. Don't go back. Keep going forward. You have a glorious future. Yes. So Metatron is assuring you that you have this glorious new future. And with this gold leaf, yeah, you're turning over a new leaf, but it also brings prosperity. Okay, and let's see, last but not least, what is the last message here? Step out of your comfort zone, right? So that goes back to, there's no need to fear. You've got Metatron and all your angels, spirit guide source, your ancestors and spirit guides, they're all behind you. So nothing to fear. Even if you ha you're doing something new that you've never done before to achieve your goal, it's telling you, do it. Step out of your comfort zone. Go for it. Take action because you do have a glorious future ahead. Pile number three. Wow, this has been your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye, my butterfly babies.